In this video, we will learn about angles. An angle is formed when two rays, line segments, or lines meet at a point. We can say that, when two lines are inclined to each other they form an angle. A ladder kept on the ground, makes an angle with the ground as well as, with the wall. There are two main parts of an angle, the rays or lines that make the angle are called sides and the meeting point is called the vertex. To name an angle, draw the angle and name the points. Write the letters in order of A, B, and C with an angle symbol in the front. Or, you can also write in reverse order. Before learning about the measurement of an angle, let's first understand what is clockwise and anticlockwise. Clockwise means in the direction of clock hand movement, and anticlockwise is just the opposite of clockwise. Similarly, clockwise is the angle when we measure the angle in the clockwise direction. The anticlockwise angle is just the opposite of the clockwise angle. As we know, an angle is formed when two lines meet at a point. An angle is measured in degree. A degree is shown by a small circle symbol, written on the top right of the angle measurement, such as 30 degrees and 60 degrees. To measure an angle we use a protractor. The protractor is a simple measuring tool, which is semicircle in shape, with 0 degrees to 180 degrees marks on it. A protractor has two scales, the outer scale measures the clockwise angle and the inner scale measures the anticlockwise angle. Numbers marked on the protractor represents the degree of the angle. For example, 10 means, angle between 0 line and 10 line, is 10 degree. Similarly, 20 means, the angle between 0 line and 20 line, is 20 degree. Every small division of protractor is equal to 1 degree. Let's learn how to use a protractor to measure an angle. Suppose we have to measure an angle A, B, C. Align the zero line of the protractor with line BC. Then match point B of the angle with the midpoint of the protractor. Read the number matches with line AB. Since we are measuring the anticlockwise angle, we will read the inner scale. It is 60. Hence angle ABC is equal to 60 degree. To measure an angle that is clockwise, we read out the or upper scale, matches with line AB, 